Hello everybody, it's Chris, and I'm back again. Like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Today we're going to get back into the mud flood topic. We're going to talk about Parliament Hill. So today, I was reading an article on CBC News. They tell you that, that archaeologists have uncovered a pre-confederation military complex under Parliament Hill. So, let's get into it here. Buried beneath the flowers, trees, and statues dotting the grounds of Parliament Hill are the remains of a military complex that predate both Confederation and the founding of Ottawa. An archaeology team has been working since April to uncover ruins from the complex as part of an ongoing renovations to Central Block. What they have uncovered so far, barracks, an old guardhouse, and what was the former city of Bytown's first jailhouse is just a small tidbit of what may be to come. Pretty interesting, right? So there's a whole complex underneath Parliament Hill. Like, it's been mud flooded, right? It's all flooded out. Like, look at this. They're ex excavating all these walls underneath it, right? The complex contains the remnants of what existed on Parliament Hill before the central block was built, during the time the Rideau Canal was first being constructed. So these things were even here during the first time even the canal was even being, what I believe is probably uncovered, not built, but dug out from the mud flood. But I haven't really looked into the, the pictures that they have of the actual construction. That's maybe going to be for another video, but we're just going to go down with this little mud flood situation right here. The canal's construction was overseen by Lieutenant Colonel, oh sorry, Lieutenant Colonel, I guess, whatever that shit is, John By, from where Bytown was named. So Ottawa was called Bytown before it became Ottawa and it got named the capital of Canada, right? Three barracks, a guardhouse, a jail, stables, and cookhouse were all built on the north half of the hill starting in 1826 for the Royal Sappers and Miner, Miner's Regiment, who were tasked with the back-breaking work of digging out more than 200 kilometers of earth from the Ottawa River to Kingston, Ontario. So they're going to tell you about they found a bunch of items here, necklaces and chin straps and tags and stuff like that, but whichever. So they found some coins. They say that there's more to uncover. Yeah, they say that they're going to go and look at the privy. The complex had several multi-chambered outhouses to accommodate the 150 soldiers plus around 40 of their wives who had lived in the barracks. With no modern plumbing, it, it doesn't take much to imagine the odor. <laughs> One central latrine was built south of where the entrance to the Senate is now. <laughs> Isn't that a little fitting, huh? <laughs> Here's a map of Bytown, or what they are calling Bytown, with the canal already there. Bam. And this is what they're saying was before the central block was put in. Here it's called Barracks Hill. Yeah, so these are all buildings that were supposed to be on Parliament Hill before it was Parliament Hill. All right, so this is what the Parliament Hill looks like now. So it looks like it's pretty much all these buildings here, like right in a line here. It's couldn't quite get this map straight, so we'll just leave it like that. And uh, just imagine it crooked a little. <laughs> so yeah, so we have this line here is symbolizing something. Was that a road? Is that maybe an existing building? Maybe the parliament buildings were already there? I don't know. Let's see what's going on, right? Yeah, they got these, um, it's basically this, this road looks like it's right here, and they got the canal that goes down. That's, but I found this image. So sorry I can't find a better copy of this picture, but we'll just roll with this one that we have. So this is upside down to what the two maps that we were just looking at. So this is so this is the shoreline here, and then this is the uh, the canal that runs down that way, right? So it's uh, just this way, just flipped around. Now the canal now runs that way, and this is the shoreline here. And so yeah, but if you take a look at this one, it's a star fort. So they got a star fort in front of whatever's here, the Parliament building. So we're gonna jump back here. That should be all up in here, right? 
And there's really nothing there now. No, no. You couldn't even, you wouldn't even recognize that there was a star fort even ever there, right? But yeah, they got the, uh, this row here, and, yeah. But it's already, the canal's already shooting across perfectly straight here. Yeah, so here's the, uh, the rest of this article here. Uh, you guys can read the rest of it. Doesn't really say much more, um, having to do with the actual mud flood situation. But, we're gonna jump over to, we're gonna jump over to the central block website on wikipedia and we're just gonna scroll through some pictures right so they're gonna show you this nice beautiful picture like look at that look at what a, it's a really nice building right and now the older uh the older one looks a little bit nicer i think but the pre-fire parliament hill looks a little bit better than this one but this one still looks really beautiful like it's uh, show you down here like it's got the uh the big doorway here and the building kind of comes along juts out like that it goes along over there. So then they've got these doorways on either side. And this is apparently where the, the prominent people enter. I don't know, the Senate, whoever those jackasses are, who run our country into the ground. They uh, they enter in from these special entrances over here. you got this big staircase that leads up. And then you got this big, giant doorway that's here, right? That's how it looks today, right? And we're just going to... So now we're just going to kind of skip through these pictures here and show you some nice pictures of this place. Like, look at that. That is so amazing. This place is apparently all burnt down. But, you know, who knows? Who really knows, right? Like, look at that. That's supposed to have been all damaged in the fire or whatever. This whole place was supposed to have all been completely trashed in the, in the Great Fire that burnt down Parliament Hill. Like, look at that. Just amazing, right? This uh, ceiling here has a bit, some very interesting pictures to it. We kick over to this one. So this guy's got it. So all you uh, people who are on the Tartarian trip, what's that right there? Oh, Griffin? Huh? A Griffin? Chilling in Canada? Pretty interesting, right? He's got the harp, stained glass. And look at that, man. Wow. Look at those giant freaking archways and windows and giant doors and... There's some real interesting little pictures in this uh, in this pattern here. I think it's a wall or something. I'm not quite sure. A ceiling or something. I don't know. So then we have this picture. So this is the picture before it burnt down. Like, look at that. Look how crazy that is. That's some antiquitech right there. Right? But yeah, look. It's got the big staircase going up. And it's got all this... Uh, it's got this giant doorway here. And then see, these... This... Um, at this time, right, during during this stage of the game, these guys here, these little doorways here, didn't have that crazy uh, build out to it. And they just, it was just literally a doorway that people, the guys would just walk into, right? And they have one on this side here too, right, where we're going to take a look at. But it's got this, look, it's, like it's all nice and grass here, right? So this is where they're saying that this is, the, the barracks is supposed to be for the uh that we were just talking about that they're excavating in the archaeological dig right so it's all underneath here right and then we have this huge staircase i know i keep saying this but I'm, i have to make an emphasis on this we got this huge staircase coming up then this giant doorway right and these two little doors over here that are in between these two little whatever you want to call these things they'll build out the two little corners here and this the doorway is right in the middle. Now I'm going to show you the construction picture, or what they call the construction picture, or maybe a rebuild after a fire, maybe? But look at this picture, right? Now is this picture not very interesting, no? So now look at the size of this door. And we're halfway up of this, halfway up in this door is what? That's mud. <laughs> it's all dirt, right? It's all dirt and mud. There's no stairs going down in front of the place right if you look around here and you follow it out to the the first little corner here and then you come across here to the next corner look you, is that the doorway maybe is the doorway not even there yet or is it buried maybe the doorway is underneath here but like i don't know of a construction practice that you build the building halfway up when you're con constructing it 
you build it halfway up and then you backfill all the way up through the front door with mud. And look, this guy looks like he's taking pictures off of like the top of a rock hill. Like it's pretty crazy. Like they're literally saying, oh, this is a construction. This is us building it. I think this is you guys rebuilding it after you guys burnt it all down and destroyed it. Or even these guys, these things could even be, who knows, it could even be photoshopped. What's with the sky? How come there's no clouds in the sky? Like, there's no no clouds, no definition. It's all just a blank white background. It's real interesting, right? So who knows if they're even constructing this top part here. But what I can tell you right now is they're sure as hell about to start digging it out from the mud flood. And they just come in and built their little shanties on top of it. This little shanty looks like it could have been even half in the mud flood as when, when that happened too. But probably not because the mud flood would have destroyed all everything wood. But it's all these big stone blocks that stay where they were. All the stone masonry stays right where it is, and the mud just kind of fills in around it. But all the wood stuff gets destroyed. Right there, bam, mud flood. Boom. I don't know how else you can describe that. Somebody out there has to know of a construction practice, if this is not mud flood, that they do this, where they backfill it. And they can inform us, with show us a video about it, of them building half of the structure and then backfilling it up with mud. A little food for thought about the Parliament Hill. And then all of what's in front of it here would have been under the mud too as well. Everything that was a maybe a star fort or more buildings that they're just calling barracks are underneath this front part here where the statues are. And the trees and the flowers are all right here, right? And that's where all the the barracks is and the stables and the cookhouse and the latrines and all that. That's where all this is, is all buried under this. So that's what they're they're just calling those structures. What are those structures really? It could be anything, right? We don't really have access to them. They're just we just get the story of what's being told to us. Just wanted to say that's food for thought. Maybe somebody can jump on the uh, whole digging out of the Rideau Canal and um, inform us a little bit about that and get some pictures about that. I also find it funny that um, Rideau in French means curtain. You know, maybe they're uh, unveiling, uh, unveiling something or covering something up with a curtain. All right, much love to everybody.